have the Soundcore Boom 2 that was just released. Welcome back guys to the channel, Scott Scott's Reviews, like, subscribe, all down below. And let's go over the box first. 80 watt power, advertised, floatable, 24 hour battery life with the battery inside, and IPX7 waterproof. It's advertising 2.1 channel design features for the subwoofer for powerful deep bass. So we have this woofer here, we have two tweeters on the outside here. So we have passive radiators on the outside, so it should offer a good vocal and bass experience, I, I think. All right, on the back side we have punchy bass technology. Again, 80 watt, this thing is gonna get really loud. Waterproof, we'll test that out too. Uh, you can link up a bunch of speakers with this, like a hundred speakers. Would you ever do that in real life? I know JBL does the same thing. I mean, has that ever been done before? Where they go to a huge party and everybody's like, link up. Within the app, you have a customizable uh, EQ, 24 hour battery life for playtime. So built in power bank, so you can also charge other devices. All right, what's inside the box? The speaker itself, a USB-C cable to USB-C, and then a manual. The number one thing about this speaker, off the bat, you can even talk about, is the price point. Under $150 for this speaker. So if you're gonna compare this with the JBL Extremes, I have the JBL Extreme 3 I'm gonna compare with this, so we'll do a sound test. I know the JBL Extreme 4 is about to be released this summer, but it kind of has similar specs that this thing has, but that's gonna be probably double the price of this speaker. So you could buy two of these and do left and right speaker and have that stereo sound with one JBL Extreme 4. So think about that, think about that. All right, let's open it up. USB C, USB C cable. We have a manual that nobody ever reads. First grab of this, it's light. It's lighter than I thought it would be for an 80 watt power speaker, which is a nice thing because if you put this in your backpack, it doesn't add a huge amount of weight. A nice grab handle, easy to grab. That's one thing that's pretty nice uh, that Soundcore does on um, most of their speakers that they put these grab handles on top. The JBL Extreme, I'll show you that later on, but that has those hooks you put in here with a strap. That means you got this big strap hanging around and it gets in the way and you got to put that away also. So not my favorite. I don't really attach the strap hardly ever to that speaker, but small things like that kind of add up. Soundcore labeling on the top, we have a little sticker showing that we need to push this button to get the boom, boom bass. This is your party up channel speak, uh, button. So if you want to add other speakers to this, this is the button you would use. Your volume button, your play, pause, um, I think two clicks to go forward, three clicks to go back, your Bluetooth button and your power button. You got your radio on the side back here, your input and output. So your input's gonna be USB-C and your output to charge something up is gonna be USB, the old style A. Uh, there's no aux jack, just to let you know if you're looking for that. We're gonna test this thing indoors against the JBL Extreme 3. We're gonna go outdoors and test the same two again. We're gonna do some Bluetooth distance testing we're gonna throw it into water, maybe the bathtub, because it's kind of cold outside right now. We'll see if it floats really, if the JBL Extreme floats, and I'll give you my final opinion about this speaker with its price point and whether it is worth it or not. All right, let's get into this.
chance to listen to speak a little bit i want to go over some of the specs two tweeters right here and we have a subwoofer right here in the middle and we have two massive radiators on the side so what that's doing if you can hear from the sound is it's really pumping that vocals and really pushing that vocals to you by delivering a, a boomier bass on the side i can hear more sound separation from this one versus the jbl extreme so how do i describe it is like you got that direct vocal coming at you with the speaker with the bass kind of like booming off of stuff. If you put it like in a corner um, of the house or let it bounce off of other stuff, it sounds even better. So the woofer in here is called a racetrack subwoofer, which delivers more at 50% more increase in subwoofer bass intensity. Again, you have your button over here for turn on or turn off the bass. I guess if you're like in an office environment or listen to it by your desk at lower volumes, you can kind of shut that down so it doesn't have as much of a boom boom so you won't disturb your neighbors. But I would feel that 90% of the time you're going to leave this button on to enjoy the extra bass that you paid for, right? You went from 60 to 80 watts. You paid for that. On the front you have bass up, on and off, and then you have your equalizer. And then you can get into the lights down here at the bottom. So I'm going to switch it to lights. 
and this is what it looks like in your app for the lights. Now you can tell on the corner of each little selection has a little like globe where you can go into and then something like that. See the globe on the side, the color indicator. You can go into that point and clutch that and then you have this which is basically you can slide your finger over and then select any color of the rainbow you would like to display out here. I like flame because it's kind of like you're by the fire campfire. Let's try flash. Uh, this is called energy. Wave. Lightning. Move all the indicators into the green area. And then I got a green look. Or you can turn it off completely. We're gonna get into EQ. Uh, you can go into presets, which they have the traditional signature, sound core, they have vocal, treble boost. But then you can go in and adjust everything yourself. You can customize your own. You go high on the bass and then bring down the mids. Play it here, but you can do whatever you want to customize it. So the speaker does have a built-in microphone, so you can call up your voice assistant. You can also use it as a speaker phone. So if you hit the play pause button and you hold it down for, for a few seconds, it'll activate the voice assistant on your phone. That's nice if you're away from your phone and you are near the speaker and you want to tell it to play something else or skip the song or Siri, play some music. Pop Station now playing on Apple Music. So if you're on Android, it'll activate that. If you're on iPhone, it'll activate Siri. So this is a backpack from 5.11 uh, that I've had for a while, but it's not a huge backpack. It's just kind of, I say average size backpack. But when you put something like this into a backpack, the circumference is so round and, and girthy that it does take up a lot of space. What's nice about these flat lay down, kind of like flat speakers, is that they can fit in and also you can stack like maybe a laptop or something like that on top of it because it kind of goes right over the over the top. This fits in a little bit awkward. So when it goes in, it takes up most of the space of the backpack. You could put a laptop in here, but it's not gonna fit smooth. It's gonna be kind of awkward since it's around. But if you have something flatter like this, it fits in pretty smoothly. And then you have a flat surface to put other things on top of. It's just some small things like that you may consider, depending on how you're gonna transport the speaker. All right, we're gonna do a water test now. She floats very much. I'm not sure what it's gonna do, but let's see what happens. Make sure the doors are closed. That's very important when you do this kind of stuff. Otherwise, you get water in the back, which you don't want. Make it up fast. Wow, this floor is a mess now. So you can see just the way that they float this speaker you can put into the water the pool and still play your music and just be let it float around the pool which is a little different unusual kind of fun but um this one 
the weight tends to move toward the this direction and the speakers are down in the water so you really can't hear it i mean the whole point of the floating is if it falls off the boat into the pool you'll find it you won't lose it you'll get it rinse it out dry it off if it's in salt water clean it and then you'll be good to go Hey guys, welcome back to the Outdoor Review. It's windy out here, as you can tell, and we're going to have speakers on the ground right here. Um, just play whatever song I can find off of Epidemic Sound. So we're going to back up as far as we can and play at full volume and see what you can hear. Here, right, let's go. Okay, we're about 20 yards, 25 yards away now. We'll step back. They were probably at least 50, 60 yards away now. I can hear it, but I'm not great. Put the phone behind me. It goes out. Back on goes out so we'll do the same thing with the JBL to show you where we are go one two three six seven eight JBL. JBL is giving out right here. Back on. Spade jumping in and out. And it's done. Well, it's back on again. All right, this is where I was before, and I had a loud and clear with the sound core. When I put the phone behind me, yeah, it definitely goes out. Anyway, we're 50 yards away. So I think it cut out around 40 yards. Uh, it's just older Bluetooth technology is all it is. We go. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching this entire video. I know it's pretty long, but I hope you got something out of it. I hope you got an understanding of what this speaker can do and can't do. The things that I want to highlight, the bass and the vocals. The bass is really thumping. I put this speaker in the corner and I had a little uh, cup, like a coffee cup, and it was just rattling that cup. It was just kind of moving. Boom, 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 moving. And that's impressive for a Bluetooth speaker this size to pump out this amount of bass. And these two little tweeters up front here really push the vocals. So if your music really is a lot of vocal and a lot of pump and bass, this could be a speaker for you. I'd say give it a try. I mean, try it on Amazon, whatever the link below, try on there. If it's not right for you, then, then return it, something like that. But I think you're going to be very happy once you listen to this speaker and get to use it. Summertime is coming shortly, and this would be a great one to have around the pool, on the boat, or whatever. Easy to pack, all that great stuff. But that's my opinion. Leave it in the comments below about what you think. If you've heard this speaker or you picked it up since I made this video, leave a comment down below of what you actually think of the speaker so it's not just me talking, talking, talking down below. All right, that's it for this one. Hope, like, subscribe down below, and I have more camera stuff coming out here shortly. Look what I'm wearing right now. I'm not recording. Maybe I should. All right, we'll see you. ZV-1 Mark II over here. It's on the A7R5 over there.